What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Aviators channel. Well, we're at it big on the Luscombe. Um, thought I'd do a quick update and show y'all how to polish aluminum airplanes. And maybe some of the tricks I've used will uh, help it not be as miserable for you as it has been for me. Um, it's been kind of fun though, you know, I, I'm in a strange, dirty, filthy way. It's uh, therapeutic. Um, and the plane is turning out really, really nice. So let me kind of show you where we're at and what we're doing. And I think you'll be surprised how good this one's kind of turning out. But here we go. Well, here she is. I've basically polished from the spinner all the way back to the tail. I left one panel so that I could do that with you guys uh, with me. Uh, you can see the tips there. I primered those. When I reshoot the red stripe on the side, I'm going to shoot those tips red. Um, coming down the airplane, it just turned out really, really nice. And there's some scratches in it, but from 10 feet away, the, the thing just looks beautiful. Like I said, that stripe's going to be beautiful as well. And you can see that uh, the tail and the, the horizontal there turned out really well. The elevator turned out really well. The rudder turned out really well as well. Now, this is the panel that I left unpolished. And that's kind of the state of the whole plane. The plane sat for years and years, so it had, you know, an inch of hanger dust on it. But if you look up the back, it's just, it polished up real, real well. On the interior, the seats are out and uh, they are at the upholsterers. I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing to those, but they're going to turn out really, really cool. Uh, I'm going to reshoot this inside. Down here where the floorboards go, I'm actually going to use some of that marine plywood that's kind of dark light, dark light, and recut all those and then put aluminum heel kicks in. I've got radios, uh, a radio and a transponder, low voltage on the way. I went with a trig there, so I'll um, walk you guys through that install. Obviously all the wires are gonna come out of this thing. Not sure how the fuel bladder is on this, but uh, you know, we'll tackle that when we get there. And you know, just we'll do some cleanup in here and uh, get rid of that, the, all those red uh, placard stickers. I think they're ugly. But that's where the uh, inside is. So in terms of what you need to uh, to polish, obviously you need gloves. This aluminum dust is insidious. It goes through your clothing, goes through your shoes, goes through... You just end up black. I mean, my kids have been making fun of me the way I come home just looking like I just walked out of a coal mine. So I uh, probably want to wear a, a, a face mask. Um, I won't today, but typically you probably want to do that. There are a couple of different products you can use. I went ahead and went with Mother's um, Aluminum Polish and some of this Mother's All Chrome as kind of the finishing stage. And then you're going to need more rags than you thought humanly possible. So, I mean, when you're polishing, you're basically taking off the top surface of oxidized yuck that aluminum gets and, um, and, and you know, revealing the uh, pure aluminum underneath. And uh, as I said, here is the panel we're gonna go ahead and polish. And there's a little bit more polishing to do down there. I can't get a good angle on that, so I'll just start up here at the top. And I went ahead and did this side. Here you can see kind of how it turned out. Very pretty. I don't know why I just love a polished plane, but uh, I can promise you this will be my last polished job. Uh, so here we go. Okay, so another thing you're gonna need is a really good buffer. I'm using this one. I think I got it at Harbor Freight and I've been really happy with it. It, it works really well. So what I'm basically gonna do is buff from here to here. Uh, first thing you wanna do is just smear some of this on your fingers and just rub it around that panel. And I went ahead and cleaned this panel first. 
um, just sprayed it off. And that's about all you need right there. And you'll see, even rubbing it with your hand, it starts to turn black. And then, wipe my hands off on the buff buffer, and away we go. One other thing, I'm keeping my buffer speed right about three. Um, and three seems to work really well. But basically what I'm going to move is I'm going to move the oxidation to that side of the panel. And you can see, here's the black. And underneath is a really good sheen. And so you want to move it this way. And, and then go over it with a final. Okay, so you want to move uh, the oxidation this way. So let me grab my uh, buffer and we'll get to it. So I'm using uh, really light pressure on this. Um, you know, you don't want to dent the aluminum. Okay, so what you'll notice here is some really light oxidation that's that's kind of stayed behind after buffing. Okay, now you can grind that out and, and make it go away with the buffer. Um, the easiest way is just to hit it with a little bit more polish, and uh, and it'll go away. But you can see that's uh, that compared to that, pretty night and day. So I'm just hitting these little oxidized spots here. Wherever there's some oxidation, I'm putting just a little bit more polish. And literally, I've only used one of these on the whole plane, and I just opened this. So, stuff goes a long way. And let's hit those spots again, and this panel should be done. And there's a great shine on that right now, but it's about to get better. Now I'm back to the uh, mother's chrome shine here. Get a good picture of that. And then hit it with about that much. And it, this is a relatively clean rag based on uh, how dirty these things get. But uh, I'm going to polish it up here real quick. And there is the finished panel. Compare that to that. Pretty amazing. I've done that on the whole plane. That's really all there is to it. 
you know, I don't see a lot of uh, aircraft polishing videos out there, so that's why I did this one, but uh, it's turning out nice. Turning out nice. So I'll go ahead and finish this, uh, this panel. Um, and I forgot I have to do the other side of the rudder too. Um, I forgot to do that side of the rudder, so I'm going to do that too, but uh, I'm not going to bore you through it. It's the same process, just repeated, so hopefully this helps you. really like the Mother's stuff. Some people use Nuvite, but I think Mother's works a lot better. That Nuvite, it, you know, it's, it's, it doesn't last as long, and I don't think it polishes as good. Um, just my opinion. Maybe I'm not using it right, but uh, <sighs> this will be the last plane of polish. Polish promise you that. All right. Well, if you like this sort of thing, like, subscribe, comment, and uh, go forth and polish an airplane. Till next time.